There are lots of questionable things you shouldn't be building in Minecraft, and one of my favorite things to do is to build them all anyway. However, there are all sorts of terrible things which are Java exclusive, world types, blocks, even half a dimension are exclusive to this edition of the game, which means that if you want to make terrible things in some of the weirdest places in Minecraft, you have to play Medium Salmon Edition, which is incredibly hard to do, but today I'm going to do precisely that, right after I threaten to burn down your house by mentioning that greater than 99.9% .9 of house fires happen to be blue aren't subscribed to the IBX Toy Cat YouTube channel. Do with that statistic what you will, just like how when you load up the Java edition, you have the option of making your world into anything you like, including super flat and including custom super flat. That means that if you really wanted to, you could replace all of the dirt with, say, Skulk Shriekers, and it would look like this. Okay, let's be honest, it's a little silly, but oh, okay, that's a little... Oh, that's a very windy world. <laughs> Okay, so it's Minecraft, but you're being constantly yelled at. That's fun. All the villagers lost their job because they went insane from the constant shrieking, but it's a pretty chill time otherwise. Just whatever you do, don't break yourself below them because it, does, it doesn't work well, okay? <laughs> I got a score of four. That's nice. So that certainly is one of your options. One of your other options, though, is the single biome option, which allows you to pick a world of any particular biome, which is the way of playing Minecraft if you decide that you really don't want trees, for example. You could have a desert-only world. Would you really want that? I don't know for sure. All I know, though, is I want to see what a deep dark world looks like. Weirdly enough, when you do this, you get a plains biome mixed with the deep dark. Like, you can see, it just continuously goes deep dark plains, deep dark plains. It's all very strange. Honestly, given that the deep dark is blue, if you were going to have something else mixed in, you'd want it to be orange, right? We can all agree this is substantially nicer, right? I mean, just look at the color contrast. Come on, Minecraft, if we're going to make biomes, let's at least make them based on the color wheel. While I was picking deep dark, by the way, I noticed you can pick each of the end... Uh, biome islands if you really want to. I need to know what an end-only biome uh, world looks like. That can't be anything good, right? Okay, everyone close your eyes for a second and imagine what you think an end highlands biome looks like and now open your eyes. Wow, power of editing. And whoa, is- oh, are we in a- are we in an end highlands biome exactly like we all pitched or the end barren? I- this- this isn't an end barren biome. You lied to me, Minecraft. This is- this is distinctly not an end biome in any sense of the word. In fact, it's really weird because there are no trees or anything here. It's a world made up of just grass. Are there caves still? There are still caves. There's caves, but the caves aren't made up of any biome. It's just all nothingness. What a weird- uh, there's no ores here either. It's all- <laughs> Oh, this is weird. You can play Minecraft like it's cave game. But you wouldn't be able to get the stone because there's no wood. Why does this world type exist? I'm so confused. <laughs> this is this is seriously, this is OG Minecraft generation. It's just dirt, stone, or grass, stone, and then water. And there is nothing else in the entirety of the world. What have we done? Oh, actually, there's gravel too. That's nice. Leaving that horror behind to go to another one, this is the Never on Java. There are all sorts of weird differences, like, did you know the ceiling is only Neverack on Java? They don't have any details going on here. Did you also know there are all sorts of, ne you know, exclusive structures here on Java, like there are ravines in the Nether? It's all very strange stuff, but one of the weirdest things is actually this Minecraft bug. So, it's a Minecraft bug in practice, I mean, in on the in terms of the bug tracker, but in reality, it is one of the most handy features that Minecraft has. You can build on top of the Nether. When you try to do that on Bedrock, it gives you this message. It gets really pissy with you, actually. It's like, oh, what are you trying to do? You can't build up there. That's above the roof of the Nether. Whereas Minecraft Java is like, huh? Are you on top of the Nether again? Fine, enjoy yourself up there. They can tell you they don't like you coming up here or you like, but as it turns out, you can even make Nether portals up here. It is ridiculous uh, what you have access to when you're playing Java, and what is technically a bug. A bug they've confirmed they will not be removing from the Java edition, and if is it really a bug if they won't remove it? Also, if it's a bug that they won't remove from Java, why won't they add it to Bedrock? And anyway, literally, I mean, the, if there's a feature that should be on Bedrock, it should be the ability to build on Bedrock, right? Anyway, so one of the weird things about this, besides, do you see that? You can see the colors shift from the biomes down below up here. Oh, that's really, 
That's really cool. Look at that. Red straight to blue. How interesting. But also, you can build anything you like up here, including really dumb things. Have you ever thought to yourself, I would like to build a giant house made of end stone blocks? You can totally do that, and it will make a more convincing end barons biome than Minecraft itself actually will. And one of the best things about this house is as you move from room to room, you get a slightly different glow. It's red here, but it's blue in this room. What a weird house this is. By the way, I know a lot of people hate that I have two block high ceiling in my regular houses in Minecraft, so I figured those people must love 40 block high ceilings, right? I mean, now there's no chance of you hitting your head on that ceiling. Surely this is what people want. Surely this is the architecture that Minecraft uh, snobs does demand, right? Yeah, this is, a, this is a bit of a weird house, all things considered. But you know, I think it's beautiful. We just need to move some furniture in. Yeah, I mean, it looks totally fine on the outside, but I think I know what could look better. It took a lot more work and a lot more commands than I was expecting, but we made the ultimate house for the ultimate location in Minecraft. Why not come to the place where no mobs will naturally spawn and build yourself a house fit for a king? This truly is the most beautiful house a person can build. One of my other favorite things you can do only on the Java Edition is placing structures. If you really want to place a desert pyramid, you can just do it and it appears out of nowhere on top of you. This is how Minecraft generates structures and it's how you can generate structures too, which means if you want, you can combine these things together and right next to your beautiful Minecraft house, you can have, say, uh, I don't know, a woodland mansion if you really want, and that's totally okay as far as Minecraft is concerned. I mean, I think it's a little silly to have a woodland mansion which backs into a, <laughs> into a desert temple uh, on top of the nether, but if you want to do that, you're totally free to. Except, you know what, I'm just kidding. It's, it's totally my freedom to do that. If you really want, I bet you can like place them on top of each other too. Nope, you can just stack them into each other, which is nice. You can make a very, very big... Uh, <laughs> woodland mansion should you want to and they'll even overlap in ways that don't make any human sense to anyone And that's the great thing about it. You run through the through the woodland mansion You break some blocks and what's that is there more woodland mansion for you more alleys? Yes, there is I'm gonna be honest with you, I think that woodland mansions can look silly just about everywhere, but let me show you one of my favorite locations. <laughs> because if you really want, you can place one right here down in the center of the end. <laughs> I just, I just, you know, there is no good reason you should be doing this. Playing around with commands and building your own woodland mansion is not a good idea, but yet if you wanted, you totally could do that. Also, I think the dragon would fly through this. Yeah, that's pretty cool, actually. The dragon flies through and makes her own little uh, take on the structure. Okay, I need to follow the dragon and see what this looks like. I, Because, you know, the dragon will fly through any block that it encounters. It won't destroy obsidian and the weird uh, end portal blocks, which is why... Or, or, or end uh, stone, I guess I should say. Which is why the dimension is made out of these. However, when she flies through, say, dark oak wood, the consequences are a little bit different. Oh. She actually decided not to fly through it. Okay, now she is. She's very she's very high above the pillar right there. I just would like to say that was nice of you not to destroy too much of this. Okay, well, ne never mind. I take away her nice comment. <laughs> I think she destroyed her own tower right there. Needless to say, I think this is a masterpiece. <laughs> but it's not the only masterpiece that's just... Again, it's really cool having a place structure command. It allows you to simulate what it would look like if you built your own woodland mansion without killing the dragon first. It's the edge of the world. That's right, you might not know about the world border. In fact, actually, you know, I feel like enough... Uh, people who play uh, Java Edition on YouTube use this to their own avail. It's something which you can add to your world anywhere you like, but it also spawns naturally at about 20 or about 30 million blocks in each direction. So if you went to 30 million, 30 million, this is where you'd arrive. Well, actually, if you went to 30 million, 30 million, it wouldn't let you. But if you went to 29 million, 29 uh, million, 99999999, uh, you'd end up right over here because that appears about a chunk early, which means the actual edge of the world is not 30 million blocks, but is instead. 29 996 is it? 84? Whatever. You know, it's this number on screen. And so, yeah, there is a world border at the edge of the world. However, if you were to say, place an. Uh, you know, actually, what happens if we place a mansion here? Well, apparently that works just fine. There's just a world border running through the mansion. Oh, you can just place blocks right past the border. Why does the border even need to exist if we can place blocks on the other side of it? That is very strange. Have you ever wanted to have access to one quarter of a woodland mansion? Boy, have I got the thing for you. I've got to admit, the ancient city isn't quite as strange as I was expecting with the big blue line going through it. 
It kind of looks normal. It looks like this could be a part of regular Minecraft. Like, yeah, well, if you want to get the chest with the golden apple in it, you're going to have to cross the uncrossable barrier. So, good luck with that one. Uh, but yeah, overall, uh, also, the fact that this structure just generates into caves here, kind of strange. Uh, you can place any structures anywhere you like, including at the world limit, which is pretty crazy. One of the final things that I've always felt is kind of strange is that features tend to make their way to the Java snapshots before they make their way to Bedrock betas. It seems as though features are developed for Java and then they're working their way up to Bedrock. I know a lot of Java features won't be added if they can't be added onto Bedrock, but it seems as though it, they don't add features to Bedrock, then add them to Java later. And so if you want to have, say, hanging signs everywhere, you might just get them first on Java. However, if you want to make a world out of hanging signs, it doesn't matter where you get them first, you can only do this on Java, and what a shame that is. Isn't this a beautiful Minecraft world? Isn't there so much we can do here? We could start writing on these signs. We could we could do so much that we're limited by, by the limits of uh, the silly, uh, you know, Big Salmon Edition, and uh, yeah, I, this, this video is just a reminder that you can do anything you want, but that doesn't mean that you should. Can we make signs under these signs? We can't. Oh, we can. There we go. Jai. Yeah, look at that. There's a hanging sign under the hanging sign. Do you like it? Now we can place a hanging sign on the side of that hanging sign, right? Yeah, this is living my life the best I know how, is all I can say, because I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, then you know what? You have bad taste in YouTube video. By the way, if you want to see more weird Minecraft builds, the next in the series is going to be 11 and it'll be coming out before the end of the year. So, I don't know when. It isn't made yet, I, I'm just trying to be dramatic to build hype, because that's how YouTubers exist. So do you want to watch my future videos? I hope you do, because if you don't, I might die. Like in Minecraft. Goodbye. <laughs> I was not trying to do this at all. I was just testing what the what the code was for a hanging sign, and I accidentally made a very cute name badge for my camel. You could make a world out of dragon eggs? That's such a bad idea.